Better pay may be coming your way. Look, a congressional panel uh, that makes a push here for better military pay, health care, and housing. So, looks like there might be an opportunity for the military to yet get another boost. Now, will this translate over to veterans? It seems to me like the more that the military gets pushed up pay-wise, the more that the VA's compensation should kind of follow suit. At least I believe that there's an argument for that, uh, but it's it won't happen if we don't speak up, right? So uh, if you support the uh, a military pay increase, well then you should support the VA increase as well. So let's jump into this. This just came out April 12th, 2024. Wanted to read it to you, bring it to your awareness. If you're currently serving, it's something you should know about. And uh, if you are a veteran, well, who knows? I mean, maybe, maybe then we might get some collateral effects that are in our favor. Not sure. Let's jump into it. Uh, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend. All that good stuff. I appreciate it. All right. A congressional panel tasked with reviewing quality of life for United States service members released a report Thursday making an array of recommendations. Sounds fancy. Uh, an array of recommendations to improve pay, child care, housing, access to medical care, and spouse support. Among the key recommendations in the quality of life panel report from the House Armed Services Committee were raised or were raising junior enlisted service members pay by 50 percent now here's my argument I agree first of all so yes I agree so why do they need to do a 15 percent uh, increase why because they're underpaid right so they're underpaid inflation's taking off and this is going to help get them back a little closer to where they should be well shouldn't we do that with the VA too shouldn't we do that with VA compensation I mean we've talked about it before right if this is the line of inflation right if this is the line of inflation for for everything right so inflation and then this is our cola increases right sure they're both going up but one's going up steeper than the other right which effectively is giving a greater and greater gap so what we need to do is we need to stair step up to get us back to where we should be so i would be and I know all of you would be too, I would be in favor of a 15% boost adjustment upward for VA compensation and then continue on with the COLAs, right? So basically a real raise, an adjust, a real adjustment, a real raise to VA compensation, 15%, and then continue on with the COLAs. That would help. All right. So moving on, it says here that uh, uh, raising the junior enlisted service members pay uh, by 15%, increasing allowances for housing and changing the cost of living calculation. Wow, huge. The second part of that is gigantic. If they change the cost of living calculation for military, and it's better, right i mean that's the the key if they change how they calculate cost of living for the military then the va should follow suit and utilize the military's cost of living adjustment uh to mirror uh, instead of the social security administrations so this is an interesting twist i'd love to get your thoughts put them in the comments because these are two big things a 15% increase and a new way of calculating the cost of living calculation. So, love to see your thoughts on that. And, uh, you know, I mean, this, this might be something that we as a veteran community try to uh, have some conversations with some electeds uh, about. Let's move on here. There's a quotation. The all-volunteer force is the foundation of America's military strength. For this reason, military quality of life is the central national security issue, said the panel chairman, Don Bacon, who I will be giving a call, by the way. I will call his office and uh, uh, see if I could speak with him or at least leave him a message. That would be 
you know, at a minimum, during a press conference on Thursday, this was Don Bacon. So, and we can no longer ignore the clear warning signs that more or less, we don't protect and preserve that the all volunteer force. Again, VA fits squarely in that whole realm, right? All volunteer force, security of the nation falls squarely on that. We need to protect that all volunteer force and, and make it uh, uh, lucrative. And the VA is part of that, right? So you serve here, we take care of you. And when you're out, we take care of you. So now if, if they stand for that, they should stand for fixing the VA. I'm, I'm down for the same thing, 15% increase and adjust how they calculate COLA. So moving on, uh, the Armed Services Committee announced the creation of the Quality of Life Panel last June with the intention of shining a spotlight on issues affecting U.S. service members. The panel heard about a variety of problems, including service members in un accompanied housing having to regularly deal with issues like gas leaks, bed bugs, and brown tap water. It also cited uh, it also cited reports that a quarter of military members are food insecure. Look, when I was active duty way back in the 90s, um, we had uh, I was married, had a child, and had uh, we qualified for WIC. My my wife at the time worked full time, and I was active duty, and we still qualified for uh, for WIC, women and infant children, uh, basically uh, kind of like a a welfare food kind of uh, benefit, so we could get certain foods right for low cost or no cost or whatever it was. I can't remember. It was so long ago, but it was. Pretty sad that that you had two working people working full time, uh, and and still would qualify for something like that. That means that you are low or no income. All right, moving on. During the February hearing on military housing, lawmakers saw pictures of restrooms covered with brown residue and walls full of mold. The Government Accountability Office said in a September 2023 report that some barracks posed serious health and safety risks for service members. Bacon said during the press conference that he was sad to see such deterioration since he retired from the Air Force in 2014. The report also recommends that military services cover all child care fees for staff members' first child and that referral requirements for needs like physical therapy, nutrition, and women's health be dropped. It also recommends that child care access be increased to 180 days while spouses search for a job. Panel ranking member Christy Holahan said that these changes would help reduce wait times in child care centers, uh, remove unnecessary obstacles in health care, and support spouses who often struggle to find work after frequent moves with the military. Our military all volunteer, our military, all volunteer military is the strongest military in the world, is deserving of a good wage, safe housing, food options that men and women actually want to eat, and so on and so on and so on. Holahan said. Both Holahan and Bacon praised the report as truly bipartisan effort to express and expressed their confidence in the suggestions. Armed Services Committee Chairman Mike Rogers said implementing the report's recommendations starting with the 2025 National Defense Authorization Act will be an essential step in securing service members and their families. I hope that with this task force and what we've and what we're going to do with it, we're showing those families we care because the way we've been treating them so far is not indicative of caring enough, he said. Rogers recognized that some of the report suggestions might raise costs, but he said the committee plans to find room in what he estimated to be at least an $895 billion military spending bill. One of the things that I take particular pride in 
uh, about being on the Armed Services Committee, as you know, we pass the NDAA every year. No matter who's in the White House, no matter who controls the Congress, Rogers said, for 63 years, we find a way to get it across the finish line. We intend to get this across the finish line with the recommendations in it, Rogers said. Outstanding, uh, good for the military, much needed, and uh, I hope that some of this will cascade into the veteran sphere because an all-volunteer military uh, needs to be taken care of while they serve and when they're not. So with that, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great one. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.